Hey guys, in this video, I will teach you how to upload your WebGL Unity game to the Facebook Instant Platform and run it in your web browser. I have already compiled a WebGL test project using the Unity game engine and configured the Facebook page for this test game. I will not go through how to compile a WebGL game and how to configure your Facebook page for that game. The first thing you want to do is go to the root folder of your WebGL build, create a new text document, open up the new text document and inside the document paste the code in the description exactly as it is. Save the document and rename the document to fbapp-config.json. Make sure that you change the extension from txt to json. Open the code for index.html. Here the first thing we need to do is include the Facebook instant library. Add a new script tag referencing to the Facebook instant library. Once you have added the Facebook instant library, you should be able to upload the build on Facebook. However, the game would not get past the loading screen. To be able to load the game properly, you first need to initialize the Facebook instant library. When Facebook instant is initialized, we can finally start loading the game. Next, we need to tell Facebook about our loading progress and when the game is ready to run. For this, we need to modify the Unity progress file. The unity progress file can be found inside the template data folder. Open it up for editing. Here as you can see the progress is saved inside this variable. It starts from 0 and goes all the way up to 1. When the progress is 1, the unity logo disappears and the game starts. Here we are going to tell Facebook about the loading progress. The function is pretty simple and straightforward. Set loading progress and we are going to multiply our progress by 100 since it's going to be a floating value from 0 to 1. On the other hand Facebook requires percentage values. When the loading progress reaches 100% we are going to start our game. Here again we need to tell Facebook to hide the loading screen and start the game. The code for hiding the Unity logo will remain the same. We will need to add a new function to start the game. This function will simply tell Facebook that our loading is complete and it can hide the loading screen to start the game. So now I should be able to upload the build on Facebook and run it. Go back to the game folder. Zip your game. Go to Facebook. Instant games. Web hosting. Upload, choose file, and upload your test build. Let the scanning process complete. And once the status goes to standby, you can start testing it by pressing the star shaped button. You might require a security check. And now I should be able to test my game. So this is my instant game. And 
there we go successfully loading loading completed and now we should be able to play it if you run this in your messenger the loading should be stuck at 0% as we still need to modify some code in the next video I will teach you how to run your game on the messenger platform if you found this video useful and want more help and tips for your unity project Make sure to hit the subscribe button below.